Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Well, and that's that. I'm now 31. I know I've already put my, I always like to do an annual sort of birthday capture message for my twin brother, which of course, I love the fact also that it's also a message to capture my birthday. So I can look back, my channel has been going for five years now. So I can look back at all the incredible, wonderful moments which are captured on my channel, whether that be Cameron, my twin brother and I's birthday, or whether that be my mum, or my dad, or Christmases, birthdays, my dear nanny, my brothers, my nieces, nephew, I've captured it all over the years, um, which is really, really great because on days like today, when I have a moment where I'm sort of settling down in the evening, I've been out for lunch today in the last couple of days, my eldest brother took me out for lunch as well with my mum, and I've done lots. It's been a real busy, hectic time, but it's been really, really lovely. It really, really has been. That quintessential word, lovely, it's just been great, and I wouldn't have it any other way. But you know, I sit here now, and I'm just getting myself kind of ready for the evening, and I didn't want to do anything sort of else this evening. I just wanted to, as I, I like that phrase, just be at peace in the moment and just enjoy. So I've had some incredible, lovely things. There's that word again, lovely. And I've had lots of nice gifts and uh, I've got a lot to look through. So I've had a non-stop day. So I'm really looking forward to just sitting down with a glass of something nice and uh, yeah, just enjoying everything. And um, just with the people who's in my immediate uh, a family home. I live in the family home with my mum and dad and uh, my oldest brother's actually with us at the moment as well and whether or not my twin brother will be coming back later with his partner, his fiancée and my little niece, I'm not sure but um, it would be really great anyway but what a day it's been honestly and um, I'd done a birthday message but it was really quite rushed because I was just I was trying to get myself um, I'd just come back for lunch, not very not very uh, long after we'd just uh, come back in the house from lunch. God, that was a bit jumbled words, Bradley. And uh, I was just trying to settle then for having some different picky foods and drinks and things with mum in that, um, which she had prepared uh, downstairs for us all, which was uh, really, very nice. So I really just wanted to take the moment to think, actually, do you know what? I was just in the bathroom, uh, just from the shower, and I thought to myself, do you know what? I looked in the mirror and I'm, I'm 31. And I know a lot of people, you see all of it online, don't you? And thinking, oh my goodness, and people almost panic that they've turned I don't know, some, sadly in this world nowadays, I've seen even people 18, 19, 20 panicking that they've turned that age. And do you know what I really, this first six months of this year, as a lot of my subscribers will know, has been rough. It's been rough with health problems, medical issues, after medical issues. But I'm so, so grateful and thankful that I'm, I'm nearly through all of that. I've got some appointments and things coming up. There potentially is something I'm dealing with, but I'm healthy and well. And I'm really working on the stress, that vice effect, me in the middle and what's actually happening and health issues and career and what's actually happening in life. And then that anxious sort of moments and stress and worry, that vice of life, as I call it, which uh, has, of course, it's heavy factor on us. So I'm really trying to deal with that in the last couple of weeks as well, which I'm having great improvements with. Um, but do you know, as I sit here and I think, do you know what, 31, do you know, if I was to give anybody any advice about how I was when I turned 21, was just to not worry half as much, if not quarter as much, because that's what I did a lot throughout my 20s. Now take the health issues aside, whether it be, uh, because of course in society, it puts a huge sort of pressure on us as young people to you have to be successful and to be in that right box almost in life in society you have to be married children by a certain age in a certain stage of your career bought a house or renting a house or and all of these things driving car and all of that but then of course at that sort of age 18 19 20 I was I was on that path of what society sets us up for and I did incredibly well and my twin brother done incredibly well and um all of a sudden things just started happening. And it was really then where it started to make me realise that actually you don't need to be that way. So that's what I would tell myself um, in my earlier 20s, if I was turning 20, if I turned 21 today, uh, that actually just don't worry, enjoy each day for what it is. It is just a day. And as long as you work hard, and as long as yes, you've got a plan, make a plan, but set that plan, forget about it, and get on with your life, and cherish each moment, and really just embrace each moment, and don't forget to enjoy it. Because I will be honest, there have been moments in my 20s where I just didn't enjoy it, because I was, I had that 
that sort of flying sight that actually I need to get here by a certain time, I need to have a certain amount of money by a certain time, I want to be married, I want to have met the woman of my dreams by a certain time, I want to have bought a house, I want to have children, and what's happened? My twin brother at 26 had a beautiful baby girl and uh, and he's got a, a wonderful fiance and my uh, second eldest brother is married with my niece and nephew, they're at 12, They've, uh, he's got a stepdaughter and a stepson, both very lovely, very busy family, get on very well with my sister-in-law, so that family's kind of tick, twin brother, tick, eldest brother, slightly different, taking a slightly different path of life, things haven't unfortunately gone always in, in the right way, but still doing incredibly well with work, incredibly well in life, we're all different characters, but incredibly close. So it's it's sort of me not quite taken off yet. Partly that's due to health. And do you know what? I looked in the mirror in the bathroom. You might be thinking, Quakey, Bradley was looking in the mirror a long time. No, I'm not that vain, honestly. Um, and I thought to myself, do you know what? I've got to the stage where I've stopped worrying about it. And I'm more, I enjoy the person I am right now. I'm more kind of comfortable with who I am because I know it's going to happen because that's what I want. Everybody will know uh, on my channel that faith is a huge guidance and a huge direction in my life and I pray every day and I have a very, very nice, comfortable, treasured bond with the Lord and that gets me through most things in my life, it really does. And, and I've got my most amazing mum and my most amazing dad, I really have. And then I'm sort of looking and I'm thinking to myself, okay, what are you worrying about? So I hope, of course, that my first property will come along soon. I hope that I uh, one day marry and I and I meet this beautiful lady who's just going to come out of nowhere and uh, have wonderful children and all of this, that and the other. Because uh, at the moment, right now, I'm content and I'm happy being single. I really, really am. I always say to my brothers and um, whoever I come across, a lot of people think that I'm prim and proper and stuck up in one thing or another, or perhaps because I'm, I'm styling my hair all the time or one thing or another, and they think, well, actually, that I'm just not interested, or that's not even me, or they may not even think that that's me at all. But actually, it is. That's what I want in life. That's absolutely it. So I want to be in a certain position in my career. I want the house. I want the beautiful wife. And I want the children as well. And in my 30s, I hope and I have faith that that's meant to be. But if not, then I truly do believe that the Lord has a different plan for me and I'm meant for something else. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep following this path. And it's it's going great. And do you know what? When I sit here and I think that I've got my mum and my dad healthy and well, I've got my brothers around me, I've got my, sadly two of which, my elder who have just turned 15, niece and nephew, they're in my prayers all the time, I don't see. However, I love them to pieces and I'm waiting in open arms when they do come into my life. Um, then my next niece and nephew down, they are 12, I love them to pieces. They're both two sets of twins. Then down from that, I have got my little niece who is four who's going on 14. And it's almost like that she is my daughter. I have to admit, I have a very close bond with my nieces in my family, which I love. I love them all the same. Um, I think that's probably the yearning in this life that I would love daughters. But of course, any child you have, as long as they're healthy and well, that is fine. But I love the fact that I love that my brothers and my sister-in-law and my brother's fiance, they almost let me have that insight and that view to help and I love that. I love that because my middle uh, niece and nephew, I'm their godfather as well. So that means the world to me. It really, really does. So here I am at 31. There is a heartbreak in my life always because when I lost my dear Nan, who is my absolute world, um, and I am blessed in this life, I always say three at my parent table in my heart and my mind that I have the most incredible mum and the most incredible dad. And on that parent table is my dear Nanny. Now, I lost my nan just as I was turning 28, and I lost my nanny very horrifically. Um, but you know what? She was just shy of 95, and I have days where I could just burst into tears. I have days where the strength is in the Lord, and the strength is in my mum, because it was her mother. And uh, growing up in that bond, they were, all, they were always like sisters, to be quite honest with you. And, um, and very similar to my mum, I had an aunt who we lost sadly, to cancer, and I loved her to pieces, and it was almost like that those three were that constant, and they were so alike, they really, really were, and um, and they always will be, and they always are, and um, do you know, when I sit here on my birthday, and I think to myself, I was so privileged to have all of that, and even though I haven't got my nan with me physically, I can't reach out and give her a hug, and and have that, and put the world to rights with her, and have a cup of tea, and, and, and all of those wonderful things, um, that she's with me always, she's right here, she's with the Lord up above, and she's going to see all of what I uh, do in this life, because she is always there. 
When I was a child, she wishes to say, I may never always see you, I may never, I think the world of you, my love, and although I may never see you grow up, I'll always be with you and I'll always be looking down on you. And I've got that on in a frame with all different other uh, Bible verses and different uh, mementos I use on my in, in life. And it's all scattered in frames just above my TV, literally here where I'm pointing. Um, so I hold on to that. I treasure that. I really, really do. So I know as I go through my 30s, Nan is always going to be there. My dear Nan is always going to be with me. Um, Mum and Dad, I talk to about absolutely everything all the time. Um, I am very blessed. I live in the family home. They have stood with me with my health issues. They're there always. My dad, I don't think, wants me ever to grow up. But my mum, uh, they're just there always. They really, really are. And this year, they celebrate 41 years of marriage. So how incredible is that? So if I'm half the person they are, I will truly be uh, successful. And I really, really... Um, yeah, I just, I just love all of that. So as you can probably tell, family is absolutely everything for me. But let's get on to the birthday. So birthday, I have had an amazing birthday. So usually I'm always blessed where my birthday almost is, is poured out over a couple of days. So one day I'll probably see my brother and my sister-in-law and my niece and my nephew. Another day, um, another day I'll, I'll go out with my eldest brother and my mum and then me and mum will go for lunch somewhere and in the evening we'll have drinks and that with mum and dad together sort of in the lounge all comfortable watching a film and things and I'll do something with my brother and his fiance. so it's busy and I see my little niece and I see my step uh nephew and and I the weekend I did which was really nice um so I've got all these people all in different stages of their life, but they're all my family. So it's really lovely to catch up with them and have such lovely bonds. So this has been, last year I've done the same, and for many years now, the only one sadly who I haven't is my dear nanny. However, I have laid flowers at her bench in the crematorium. Of course it's not, and I talk to her, it's not the same, but I talk to her every night through prayer, and I've got a picture here of my nanny on my, my desk, and she's always with me. But this, this birthday, it's been great because Anybody who knows me, I love new clothes, aftershaves, the real 1920s sort of dapper gentleman. That's me, and I love that. So, uh, last couple of days, I've been up with my eldest brother and my mum, and uh, he took us for lunch, and... Um, he, he kind of took us on this shopping trip, and I and all uh, incredible lovely things, shirts, tops, you name it. I was absolutely spoiled, which was great, and I'm and I'm very, very grateful, I really am. Bear in mind, I do the same for them. We do quite lavish and all push out in this family for gifts and things, and I appreciate that not everybody can do that, and that's not me being boastful or anything at all. I'm very, very fortunate, very, very grateful, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you spend, you... you can have nothing but still give everything to somebody who you love and who you as a friend or, or, or whoever, you can all, there is always something you can do to show somebody how much you think of them and love them at whatever occasion of the year. So please don't take that the wrong way when I'm discussing this at all. So from that, I uh, had a really lovely time there, a really lovely evening. And um, then I had work in between, which was month end, I work in finance. So uh, very, very busy and hectic, but worked with a great team of people. So that was really nice and got lots of birthday wishes and things. And then, of course, I met with my, uh, this morning, very, very, oh, just so heartfelt. I woke up very early this morning, as I always do. Um, and in the conservatory, uh, I spent some time with my mum and, um, and, and my dad. And my dad, and um, I had my cards and my gifts, and that was just honestly blown away and uh yeah tears and the words and my cards and things wow my my uh mum and dad's card this year honestly i was just a blubbering mess to be quite honest with you it was just stunning and i'm always blessed with the amount of cards and things i receive it's really really great and um my dad wasn't feeling so great so he joined us a little bit after and when my mum and uh and i were sat down but it was it was really nice so coffee and everything in the morning was really great very traditional very i love that i'm quite a traditional soul and then my, uh, my twin brother joined us and we, we exchanged gifts the same because, get this, whoever buys a gift on your own birthday, hmm, bear with me just for a moment, <laughs> and we're back. And that was my, one of my brothers actually calling me. They're always calling me, which is really, really lovely. And my second eldest brother, um, we're on the phone, honestly, for hours at a time sometimes. And sometimes we try and extend it. I do the same with my niece, his daughter as well. Um, but anyway, we were going back to that. So I we exchanged gifts. Uh, my twin brother and I, Cameron and I, and that was just the gifts he got this year. Incredible. I hope, of course, I bought an incredible gift. <laughs> and so that was really, really great. And um, 
and that was nice and we go through the cards and then we take some time we talk about my nan on the mantelpiece of all of our our cards and things and um mum's very house proud so we've got very kind of um very official kind of setup traditional house and um, on the mantelpiece all of our cards and where nan's card would have been we have a picture of nan and mum together so she's always with us and um and always will be so that's really very uh, lovely and um yeah very very privileged and then after a little while um uh yeah i think cameron, cameron went off with his uh, fiance and his little girl and um and uh yeah that was nice and i i had I left. I was left some time just to compose with my thoughts and everything, because I love birthdays, but they can be emotional, and uh, and it and it was to be quite honest with you, it really really was, and um, so then a little bit later on, after a really nice morning, we went for a really nice lunch. However, it did take some turns because the places we were originally going to be going, unfortunately, had closed. But then we came across this really lovely country place and uh, it was just set so picturesque and so amazing. So it was my mum, uh, my brother and I, and it was lovely. We had a uh, beautiful main, uh, we had wine and uh, we had a really nice dessert. And that was just, it was amazing. And for many years now, I haven't actually been out for lunch with my twin brother and I it was just very very nice and in the gardens and everything and we laughed joked took pictures with mum and that it was just nice and it was so relaxed and uh, everything i want in a birthday to be quite honest with you so that was really very nice and um then when we come come home more laughter more jokes i like to sing so all of that uh so drinks this afternoon, that's really, really nice. Anybody sound like I've had lots of night, but I haven't, I can assure you. My brother, my eldest brother, did treat me to champagne, which is one of my my favourite drinks, I have to admit. So that probably will be coming open this evening. Um, Dad had to go to work, but he's going to be back later. And um, so I think we're going to, that would be nice in the evening. And uh, just some picky things and one thing or another. So it's been really, really great. So then I like after a really nice full day like that. And... Um, lots of kind of talking and celebrating and everything like that. I like to just take a moment. So then when I have a shower and that, and you get yourself ready. And sometimes I like to just sit here. It's a beautiful evening. And sometimes I like to just sit here and I keep a journal. And I haven't done that this evening. I'll probably do that tomorrow. In a couple of days, um, we're all going on a family holiday. Uh, and it's the first since I've had my health issues. And I still manage health issues. So I've got to be really, really careful. So I'm looking forward to that, but nervous at the same time. And you know, I just sit here and I go through everything. I'm so excited for what's yet to come, but I look back and I appreciate and I'm so privileged for what's happened as well. So, yeah, amazed at all of what I've done. And I've, I've honestly, I've had so much of an amazing journey so far at 31. I've traveled to some incredible countries around the world. I've had some incredible holidays. I've grew up in the love of my incredible parents and my dear nanny and my brothers and nieces and nephews and honestly yeah what a blast what a time it has been so on that note i just wanted to give you a bit of an insight because i don't very often as they say vlog or talk openly about what i've done today but i've had an action-packed day i've had so many incredible gifts so many wonderful messages cards Honestly, I love to treasure my cards. I really, really do. And um, as I say, the last couple of days, it's been packed with different trips and and sort of bought. I've been absolutely spoiled. And my my mum and I, in between hours, I completely forgot that before that. So my brother uh, took us out for um, lunch and a lovely sort of uh, trip was brought me, all buying me all sorts of things. And then mum and I went uh in between that which i absolutely uh loved and she always spoils me i like to my parents as well when i can but that was really great great too and uh and and today but yeah honestly yeah very very privileged and i always mention that in my prayers each day too and i am very aware that in this life not everybody will celebrate a birthday like i have and not everybody uh will get to do that. There are people who celebrate a birthday and they absolutely hate it. And some people go through hor horrible things and sometimes birthdays bring up horrible memories and awful things. They really, really do. So my heart goes out to them and I just take a moment to just to say, do you know what? I do appreciate where I am in this life. And I think that's very important to say that to all of my viewers and all of my subscribers. I really, really do. And um, I wish everybody well. And do you know what? I wish that positive sort of positive notions come your way and goodness and success and just just great times follow for you too as much as what I have enjoyed and yes I've had storms which I've gone through this year and in recent years um but you know we get through that 
the storm does pass and that sunny horizon sky does rise when we get through it. I think just hold on to every single moment in this life. On that note, God bless. Thanks very much for joining me. And on this closure of how did that happen? I'm 31. Please don't think that I'm a stuck up snob, but please just think of me as a friend who wants to tell you all about what I've enjoyed. And I'm just so overwhelmed with everything and so appreciative that I wanted to just talk about it. My channel is a very open virtual sort of captured diary and I absolutely love sharing it. So thank you on that note and God bless and take great care. And I will look forward to seeing you real soon on my next clip. Bye now.